May the Lord bless and keep you. Perhaps when I make my videos, I can make some people angry with them. And I can understand that. Because some people may not like being told what to do. Some people may not like hearing what they are doing wrong. So in cases as these, in some cases, these people have this really foolish pride, which is very, very dangerous. So if you have this pride and if you are getting angry, I don't care. I don't care. Listen. Some days I really get extremely demonic dreams. Very, very demonic of me being chased, beaten, tormented, pulled out of my body, and things of that nature. Very perverse things, things that I can't explain some of the time. This is a constant reminder to me that this life is not really an average life that many people may think. This life is real, like really real, supernaturally real. As I perceive, Let me say this, when I have these demonic experiences, I can see that demons are not playing around with anyone. They are serious. They play for keeps. They are not playing around with anyone. I am a person that serves God, but yet, at times, I can have very vicious dreams. Imagine if you are in sin now. Imagine you going to hell. Do you believe that these demons are going to take it easy with you? I think not. I think not. What I have perceived, demons have no mercy. They like seeing you in fear. They like seeing, seeing you in anger. They like seeing you in pain. So imagine what they are going to do to you in hell to see you in those emotions. What if you go over a person's home and they tie you up and they have a handsaw and they get pleasure from seeing you in pain and in fear? Imagine what they are going to do to you to see you in those emotions. Imagine. When you go to hell, there is no more dying. There is no more dying. There is no more going unconscious. Now on this earth, 
your body can feel so much pain until you go unconscious or die. So there is a limited amount of pain that you are going to feel on this earth before you pass out or you go unconscious. Now in hell, hey, you are already dead. You can't go unconscious in hell and you can't die. So imagine what can happen to you when you can't die and you can't go unconscious. So this means you are going to feel all the pain, all of it. Imagine that. Imagine being stabbed in a very vicious way thousands of times but can't die or pass out. Imagine that. Imagine being whipped very hard and you can't die but you can feel the pain but you can't die. Imagine that. So when you speak in this casual way, well, Kevin, I can try my best in serving God. Whatever happens, happens. Hey, at least I tried. When you speak in that foolish, casual way, listen, if you aren't crying out to God now, you are going to be crying out to God in hell. But when you go to hell, it is too late. There is no more repentance. Believe me, you are going to cry out in hell. So for you to not cry out on this earth, that is foolish. Do it while you have the chance. Once you are off this earth, there is no more repentance. So, what is crazy? You are focusing on building your life on this earth and not caring about your spiritual life. That is crazy. Why are you placing so much effort in this earthly life and not really placing effort in your spiritual life. If anything, it should be the opposite. You should be placing more effort in your spiritual life and less on your earthly life. Listen. Why are you on this earth? To have fun? to do as you please? Are you serious? You are on this earth to serve God. Everything that you do on this earth that is not about God is going to fade away. You get no credit for it. So why do something when it is a waste of time? Yes, you have to pay bills and stuff like that. What I am saying, focus more on God than everything else. This is what I am saying. Everything else is going to fade away. But what you do in God is always going to last. But you want to work three and four jobs for what? To gain more crap? Mess? which is going to fade away, and then your spiritual life is so weak and tiny, and you are asking me, what is wrong? <laughs> what is wrong? You are spending more time on foolishness than with things that matters. Change up your routine. Change up your routine. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.
make sure you share and subscribe. God bless you.